Hi everyone, Mike Stuchino, Master Herbalist here with Z Natural Foods. And today is another video regarding our top five food picks for you to incorporate into your daily diet for a happy and healthy new year. But before we get started, I have to give our health disclaimer. The information you're about to receive is for educational purposes only and is not intended to treat, prescribe, or diagnose any general or specific medical conditions, and is not intended to be a replacement for your primary health care provider's medical information, diagnosis, or treatment protocol. With that said, let's get started. So today, in our top five pick, we are going to discuss astragalus extract, okay? <laughs> um, Astragalus extract is a king in the world of tonic herbs and traditional Chinese medicine's most revered qi tonic. Astragalus is essentially to anyone who wants to take their health to the next level. It is a major part of their program. Major or primary tonic herbs are plants, fungi, or in some cases, animal part extracts that have been heavily used for thousands of years and considered prized in tonic herbalism and support and nourish at least one of what traditional Chinese medicine knows, knows as the three treasures. Some primary tonic herbs include reishi, goji, of course, astragalus, he Shu Wu, Sasanja Berries, Eucomia, Ginseng, and Gynostemma. Tonic herbs are defined based on function and criteria. In simple terms, there are four fundamental aspects that define a tonic herb. One, they create and support physical, mental, and emotional well-being through the appropriate balance of yin and yang energy to obtain vibrant health. Two, they can be used for an unlimited period of time with no adverse effects. Three, no matter how long an individual uses tonic herbs, they never build a tolerance to them. And four, true tonics come from their authentic source and spiritual homeland. This principle is known as Taoist herbalism, uh, in Taoist herbalism as Dai Tao, and makes a vital difference in both potency and efficacy of that specific herb. Tonic herbs nourish at least one of what traditional Chinese medicine calls the three treasures. The three treasures are interconnected and contribute to overall health and well-being. They are as follows. Jing. Jing is the essence, which is, one's essence, which is primarily stored in the kidneys. Jing is one's constitution that regulates growth and development and works with qi to protect the body from harmful exterior conditions. Poor constitution, blood loss, and excessive sexual activity all are primary causes of Jing essence deficiencies. The next is qi. Qi is your life force or your vital energy, again, stored in the kidneys. Both the physical and emotional are manifested as qi. One is, in, one is inherited from our parents and the second is derived from essential substances like air, food, and water. Deficiencies are often caused by poor nutrition, poor digestion, chronic stress, and constrained breathing. The third of the three treasures is known as Shen, which is the emotional or spiritual layer of our being that affects the state of our nervous system. Shen lives in the heart and is said to preside over the activities that take place in the spiritual and mental planes. Because Shen lives in the heart, people with disturbed Shen may experience things like anxiety, st uh, stress reactions, difficulty breathing, and even insomnia, just to name a few. In such cases, the primary weakness, in, according to traditional Chinese medicine, is coming from the spleen, which cannot generate enough blood to nourish the heart and what is known as anchor or keep the Shen under a level of control. 
There are four primary categories of tonic herbs. <laughs> uh, qi tonics, blood tonics, yin tonics, and yang tonics. Astragalus is a major qi tonic known as the great protector of chi due to its ability to fortify what is known as protective chi, which flows under the skin and in the muscles. This surface energy supports the opening and closing of pores, which is our first line of defense against external environmental changes. But astragalus is known for much more. The term dampness is used in Chinese medicine to describe conditions for which an individual cannot metabolize fluids properly. Astragalus is slightly warming with strong supportive qualities for the spleen and the lungs, two organs that are very specific to fluid metabolism. Uh, and again, the spleen and the lungs is also known to support fluid metabolism. As astragalus is also known as a double direction adaptogen because it may also help support good posture and help tonify organs in the abdominal and pelvic cavity. Modern research has put this world-renowned tonic back on the front pages due to its unique family of compounds known as astragalicides that have been undergoing intense research for their many supportive aspects of a healthy aging process. With all that said, I'm sure you're really interested in suggestions for daily usage for astragalus extract powder. <clears throat> because astragalus is bitter and slightly sweet, it can be challenging for some people uh, who are not used to this rather unique flavor profile. So here are a few suggestions. First is making a warm blended drink with other tonics like goji, eleuthero, and various medicinal mushrooms, which will often provide a more well-balanced flavor. And in the end, you have a super tonic drink to start your day. <clears throat> the other is taking a shaker cup, adding six to eight ounces of hot organic coffee, two tablespoons of coconut milk powder, one teaspoon of astragalus extract powder, one teaspoon of reishi extract powder, and one tablespoon of 100% cacao powder. Close the lid, shake for 30 seconds, pour into a mug, and you will have the greatest, most nutritious cup of coffee you've ever had in your life. So guys, I hope this video was really helpful, and I hope that you will consider adding this in as one of your top five new foods or herbs that you're gonna use for the new year to stay happy and healthy. This is Mike Stuchier, Master Herbalist with Z Natural Foods. I'll see you next time.